In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to level up super fast in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. This season is super fun. I know you guys definitely want to get to a high level really fast so you can get the Tier 100 Darth Vader skin. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I post Fortnite content like this all the time and it'd be greatly appreciated. We're on the road to 4,000 subscribers and if you could help me hit that, that would be awesome. Now I know this strategy works because I've been able to unlock the super level edit styles every season since Chapter 2. With all that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is challenges because they are the most obvious. So first we have our daily challenges. These are probably the easiest challenges you're going to do. As you can see here, we have catch fish, search cash registers, really easy stuff. And you're going to get 15,000 for each one of these you do, plus an extra 1,000 as well. So that'd be 16,000 total XP for each of these you do. That adds up to a total of 48,000 XP per day just by doing your daily bonus challenges. It's exactly the same as last week. Now I will say once you get done with the three, you can still do daily quests, but they're really not worth it. 1000 XP is not very good for doing a challenge. When we come over to weekly quests, as you can see, things have changed quite a bit here. So as you can see, they lowered it to 15,000 XP per challenge and then a 43,000 XP bonus school. This is different because the bonus school used to be 40,000, but the weekly quest used to be 20,000. So that's actually a huge nerf because you're taking away 5,000 for every one challenge and then adding 3,000 for every two. So basically for every two challenges, you're losing 10,000 and getting 3,000 instead. So huge nerf there, really don't like that change, but these challenges are still worth doing, especially when it comes to challenges. These are the fastest challenges we have in the game right now. I really have no idea if they're planning on adding the resistance challenges like we had before back in the game like we had last season. I hope they do. We probably won't find out till Tuesday for sure. If they're not in the game Tuesday, that means they are not coming. But these challenges can sometimes be harder, but it looks like this season, these are some pretty easy challenges here. Last season, we did have some more difficult ones, but it looks like we got some really easy stuff. And then next we have the milestones. These are the easiest challenges to do, but you only get 5,000 XP for each one. So that is a huge nerf. However, you do get 20,000 XP for each 10 you do. So each 10 stages you do of these, you're going to get 20,000 XP. So say you get these five bounties, that's going to count as one for your bonus school. So you only have to do a stage for it to count towards your bonus school. You don't have to do the entire thing. And some of these are really easy, like hit weak points. It's really easy search chests and ammo boxes. There are some harder ones like reboot teammates. Like if you don't play with a lot of people, you're gonna have trouble with that. But for the most part, these are gonna be your easiest challenges in the game. Now, are they worth grinding out? I would say so on the easier parts. Like when we're talking hit weak points, yeah, that's worth doing. That's really easy, right? Gain shields, really easy. But when we're talking like place top 10, rebooting teammates, stuff like that, outlasting opponents. I don't think that's worth grinding for that XP. That's just not enough. And there's way better strategies I'm going to show you later in this video to rank up way faster than that. So the first one of those strategies I was talking about is the imposters mode. Imposters is, in my opinion, the best way to rank up. There are strategies in Save the World that will rank you up a little bit faster, but the problem with those is that they kind of require you to be better at Save the World already, and most of the people watching this video probably don't even play Save the World, so I'm going to focus on the imposters mode. So in the imposters mode, basically this... So basically the imposters mode is going to get you XP very fast. So for every task you complete in imposters mode, you're going to be rewarded with 1500 XP. This is why every single game you're going to want to try to be an agent because agents get way more XP than imposters do. I mean, if you like playing as an imposter, you can, but you're definitely not going to be getting that type of XP that an agent would. So as an agent, your only goal here is going to be to grind XP. You're going to be doing task after task. When people try to get to the voting board, you're just going to skip vote and try to get out of there as soon as possible. And you're basically going to be trying to avoid people. You don't want to run into a bunch of people during the Peely party. You're just going to want to try to stay to yourself and get those tasks done as fast as possible. This strategy definitely works. You can get anywhere from 10,000 XP for a two minute game to 20 to 25,000 XP for a 10 minute game. It all just depends on how long you can make the game last because you get XP for a bunch of different reasons. You get XP for the time the game lasts, for getting a win, for completing assignments. And this is definitely gonna be the fastest way once you get done with all of your challenges. And now the next thing I wanna talk about is creative mode XP. So creative mode XP will give you a lot of XP to a point. 
So basically, there is a cap on the XP you can get in creative mode, and the reason they added this was to stop people from doing creative XP glitches. That's why when you go on the internet, you'll find a bunch of different glitch videos, and if you actually go out and do them, you'll notice they're not going to rank you up that fast. Basically, the way it works is the more creative XP you get, the harder it is to get in the future. So my advice is to grind creative XP while it still gets you XP really fast, and then later in the future just stop playing it completely, because to a point it'll stop giving you XP super fast. With it being the first day of the season right now, it's definitely worth going ahead and jumping in. You're going to get a ton of XP right now. But I'd say if you're playing in a mode where, say, it's like a team deathmatch mode and you're getting less than 400 XP per elimination, I would quit playing it at that point. You're not getting it fast enough to rank you up faster than you would in Imposters. Now, as for creative maps you can play to get XP, I like team deathmatch modes where you respawn because modes where you don't respawn and you get down, that's wasting a lot of time you could be getting eliminations to get XP. So this, so game modes like Pro 200, Tilted Tower Royale, Red vs. Blue Rumble, and even a lot of these easy death run maps will get you XP super fast. Now, if you're wondering what you get for max level this season, you are going to get Darth Vader at tier 100. And now you'll also be able to unlock bonus level edit styles at level 200. But at the moment, they are blocked out because they want to surprise us with those later. And they don't want anybody to just buy tier 100 and have all the super levels the first day. So that's why they're blocked out at the moment. The next tip I'll give you is if you're buying levels, go ahead and buy the bundle in the item shop. And if you can wait till the end of the season, you can go ahead and buy the level up quest packs we get. And those are a way better deal than this because instead of getting 25 levels for 1800, you're going to go ahead and get 28 levels for 1200, which is definitely a way better deal. Plus that comes with a skin. Now I wouldn't encourage anybody to buy battle pass tiers. I personally don't do it, but if you are going to do it, that's definitely the best advice I can give you. So to give a brief summary of this video, the first thing you're going to want to do is level yourself up by playing the creative mode because the XP there is insane at the beginning of the season. And then once you've maxed that out and got it to where you're getting really slow XP, go ahead and switch over to doing your challenges in the battle royale mode and try to get all those done because they do give you a ton of XP, especially the daily and the weeklies. The milestone ones are optional because a lot of them definitely aren't worth it, like I said earlier, but make sure you definitely get those daily and weekly challenges done. And then once you finish those up, make sure to switch to imposters mode and try to level up really fast there. As I said earlier, you can get up to 20,000 XP a game. I've seen numbers as high as 100,000 XP per hour, which is really good, especially for a normal mode like imposters that any of us can do where it takes no skill and it's all just grind. But anyways, guys, if you did go on to enjoy this video, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And comment down below if you want some more in-depth type of XP videos. If you want more strategies and stuff, just let me know and I'll definitely go ahead and do that. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out, dudes. Later.